Well, I think the most talked about thing is, is the quarterback situation. Obviously, the dynamic has changed from when spring started. Emory Jones was returning and, and uh, was the guy that started the majority of the games last year. He subsequently put his name in the transfer portal uh, about a week in. And uh, Anthony Richardson, according to Billy Napier when, in our meeting yesterday, said he uh, separated himself from everybody else. That includes Jack Miller, the Ohio State transfer. So we know Anthony Richardson can give you those wow moments, both running the football and with his arm strength. I want to see more consistency throwing the football because he'll make – five great throws in a row and then inexplicably miss a wide open guy in the flat on a boot or, or short hop a, a flat route. So, you know, I think that's what the, uh, not only the coaching staff is hoping for Anthony Richardson is just to see consistency across the board on both sides of the ball. I thought, interestingly enough, uh, their focus has been on, hey, let's, let's, let's simplify things a little bit. Let's maybe not install as much as we had planned to in an effort to, to get everybody feeling confident about what they're doing, get the alignment set, get them playing with great technique, and eliminate the penalties. Florida was one of the most penalized teams in the country last year. Uh, that's really been a point of emphasis, particularly after the second scrimmage on Saturday when uh, all reports were that it was one of the sloppiest practices of the spring. Uh, far too many penalties and maybe one of the only times that, that – uh, Billy Napier has shown his frustration with the way that, that he got after his team following that uh, Saturday scrimmage.